Let's keep going. No good, no good. That was so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad. That was so bad. Okay, let's go, um, let's play here. Okay, what is the number we're at? Let me just make sure on the number. We are at... We're at 173, okay. Um, let's play G3 again. Okay, he's playing H5, so I gotta stop the pawn flank attack. Do I play any instruments? Um, no, not really. I played trumpet a little bit growing up. Not very good at it, but I tried. Um, and then beyond trumpet, I guess, um, when I was really young, I did the violin. Okay, again, I'm gonna try to take this, take this square in the center of the board. Just F5, I'll trade, I'll go here. And we'll trade. I mean, he gambits this square too in the process. He also gambits this square. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this square instead. Just take and go 94. Good horse in the center of the board. Very, very important horse. Favorite part about growing up in Belgium? Good one, yeah. <laughs> Thank you to Indutney for the tier one. No aim for real for the prime. Gimbalank with the prime. Lagger Mercy with the tier one. Thank you so much. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to put my knights where they can hold the glue, where they can hold each other. Uh, actually, that sounds really weird. Um, okay, uh, where they they can basically they they coordinate very well and um, they protect each other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that sounded so wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go here in IG5 next move. <laughs> um. Okay, it does find this. Okay, this is actually a problem. I'm gonna go here. Oh, I can't do that. Um. I think I'm just gonna take and play like this. I don't know if this is right actually, but I figure at some point I'll just sack for the knight. Hmm. Tricky position. Okay, he doesn't take advantage. I don't know why he did knight h6. Oh, that's a weird move. Because the problem is, like, what he's trying to do is he's still going to have to put the knight back here. And at some point, I just rotate my horse to c4. Like, I don't really understand. Okay, but I put the knight on c4. Now, I actually cover his jump. And I go here because I cover the sack. And I'm just going to bring the queen to e2. But it's very peculiarly. This is very weird. Now, now I can just play like queen e2, and I should just be very, very happy with my position. Because now my knight holds it, and he can't remove the horse, because my pawn always will take the pawn. And otherwise, it's a big outpost. Actually, I do, gotta be, I do, I do have to be a little bit careful here. Um, how do I do this? I guess I'll go here and bring my queen to e4, maybe. Let's go here, queen e4 next move. As long as I don't blunder, I'm going to win the game. But blundering is very like okay, that's a terrible move because now he's gonna give me the outpost again, and now he doesn't even have a horse to defend the outpost. Let's go here. Let's go here and here. Hey, okay, I go. Okay, he still doesn't try to stop me, so I'll go here again. The horse is really good on e4. Let's go here. And this is just a classically winning end game, as you'll see in a second with the horse. I mean, look at how everything of mine is on white. One, two, one, two, like, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things on white. And he has everything on black, and his bishop is black, so his bishop can't attack anything. I go h5 here, and um, every, er, everything is just collapsing here. Let's go, um, let's just go knight f2 here. I'm gonna go here, and now I'll go check. Actually, with a checkmate. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go here and here. Uh, you're at 175. Okay, let me see what what. I'm... Okay, um, let's go here. Well, by playing e3, actually, they don't realize that I'm not being serious. I'm going to go f3. Um, so you guys are asking me uh 410. Okay, that's 24. No, I'm at 174. That's 174, not 175. Let's go here. 
Uh, let's go d4 and takes. Who aborts? I mean, he he aborted because uh, he didn't want to have to face the opening. I mean, it's such a strong opener that like nobody wants to face it. I mean, the bond cloud is just too OP for for the majority of people. Let's go knight e2. Maybe bishop e3. Maybe bishop f4 at the right moment. Um, okay, queen b6. Interesting choice. I can play queen b3 to trade the juicers, and I think I will actually. Okay, I take. I guess I just take. I should be pretty happy with my position here. Again, I don't care about my king position because it's an end game. It's a complete end game here, so I really don't mind. I'm very happy. And now I can also take this from him. And I just bring the bring the bishop out, and it's a great position. I'm very happy with what I have here. Whoa! Thank you to Mamba Forever for the 77 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Mamba Forever. Thank you to Shover Lover for the 400 bits. Shover Lover for 300 and the 1050 as well. Thank you so much. Thank you to Mamba Forever for the 77 gifted subs. Let's play Knight B5 and hit the juicer on A7. Actually, I realize where is this? I should move this up top. Um, okay, let's keep going. Can play here and hit the rook and move back. Bishop d6 is also a nice, nice move here. And use my good good horsey horse. I can go knight c7. Let's try to use the let's try to use the we'll, we'll try to show the power of the two ops. The power of the operators is gonna be in full effect here. So my operator is good on d3 d3 and and d6. Look at the ops. Beautiful, beautiful ops. We keep going. Is he not a VIP? Actually, maybe he's not. Yeah, I will. Um... Wait. Okay, yeah, I made him a VIP. Okay, let's go here and here. I'm gonna play like a French this time. Let's play the French. I can play D5, I think I will. Yeah. Thank you to Miok for the two months. Thank you, Miok. I can mark this too. Uh, we're not ready to mark. We're not ready to mark. Let's go here. I'm just gonna again. I'm gonna manually cash on my king. Maybe I go bishop f5. Actually, I gotta be careful because if I try this, there might be some sauce with knight g5 and queen h5 that I, I'm in bad shape on. Okay, so let's just drop back. Keep the keep the ops on on ideal squares. Let's just take. Let me make sure the score is correct, actually. Let me make sure that this is right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. Wait a second. Whatever. Um, just go C6 here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So yeah, it's correct. So it's 175. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, let's go 97 here. Just wanted to make sure that I had the had it correctly. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Let's go bishop c7. It goes knight f5. I do have to be careful here. Um, I can play knight f8 maybe. Ooh, this is dicey. Let's go knight f8. I'm gonna have to take and play like h6. A little bit sketchy, like maybe more than a little sketchy, maybe very sketchy actually. I have to be very careful here. So he also has a, some kind of sack, but then I run back. Okay, that I think was a mistake because now I cover all my squares and I just develop the horse to one of these squares, bring the rooks and my, my op is really good. It's eyeing this pawn. It's eyeing this whole diagonal and his op wants to take the diagonal, but his op is just a bad op. If he goes knight h4, that's probably a good move, actually. But again, I think it's too little too late. Uh, let's just go knight here. If he tries to come in, I just kick the horse, as always. Um, let's go rook e8, maybe. I'm going to go g6 and kick the horse, but I need to get my rooks on the right squares first. Why am I referring to the bishop as an op? Because the bishop is like an operator. It's like a sniper. It attacks from really long distance, so yes. Again, this is Twitch, you know, we're trying to make chess more of an eSport, so I think calling the bishop an op or a sniper makes makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's kick, I can also play, no, let's kick, let's just kick the horse. 
Um, the horse horses are good, but pawns can really become like those those thorns that they just like they start they start you know nudging the horse out of the game. Okay, queen h3 is a good move, I think. Maybe a very good move actually. Um, and good knight f8. No, that's bad. Um, let's think about this. If I go queen c8. I can also go rookie seven. Knight if I take. It's tricky. Wait a second. Let's just go here. I have to be very careful. There, there, there are problems potentially. Pawns can become that guy that runs around with a knife. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I'll, I mean, I shouldn't pre-move that because I don't know if I should take. Okay, it does. So I can take, I can also just ignore it. I'm, I mean, I can just be really mean and ignore it. I'm just going to be really mean and just, I'm just going to ignore his horse. And I'm just going to move the rook and say, what's your, what's your, what's, what's, what's your deal, dude? What's your deal? You have nothing good here. And I'm just going to move my rook. His pawns are bad. If I can eat the pawn and d4, it's game over. Uh, rook e3 is actually a good move, I think. But what's the threat? I don't understand this. If I just take, I, I literally don't understand what my, 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 my guy is doing. Thank you, Snifi. So I attack the queen if he trades. I take my knight holds my rook here so he doesn't win anything. And it's just winning. 360 no scope sniping noobs before rifles even existed. <laughs> That's true. Rifles didn't exist 2,000 years ago. That's a good point. Uh, knight d4 would not work because then he trades. Uh, if I take this one, he trades and I lose the rook. That's why I have to go here because the knight holds the rook. Hmm... It's all just GG's. Um, let's go here, trade the queens. Let's keep going. Okay, let's play D4, take some of the center here. Oh, he's gonna he's just gonna play a Dutch. He doesn't even care. Interesting. I guess I'll just try to take more this take more of the center, as much of the center as I can. I'm gonna do this. I don't know if this is right, but. I'm gonna go here and knight f4 maybe, and like h4. That's gonna be weird. Let's see. Okay, I think what I want to do is I, I assume I need to develop, so I'll play here. I can always go knight d3 at some moment. Uh, he's being so traditional here. It's very odd. Do I want to attack? I think I'm just gonna attack him. Why not? Let's go here. Problem is actually I realized he's got some 94 or something that I just missed completely. That's why I shouldn't have played Vish B2. I should have done something slower. Although it's not so clear even, because I can just trade the knights. So it's very unclear. Thinking of Murph for the five months again. Thank you so much, Murph. Um now I can obviously take, I mean I assume I should play M Peasant, but if I can take and get away with E4, I should. I don't know if I can. So I'm just gonna take and move my king. I'm gonna leave the rook on H1 because it makes sense. If e4, I definitely play f4. Okay, I want to go e4. Maybe I go g4. How do I do this? I'm just going to bring the bishop, bring the queen, bring the rook into the game, basically. This is not a good position, though, objectively. Very weird position for both of us. Why not play the end scrub? You mean the end peasant gambit? What? I don't know. Okay, goes knight h5. I can take, but I thought I had rook h3. Or actually, no, bishop e1 holds the, holds the square. Critical move that I had this one. Because otherwise, this horse is hopping and forking and all, doing all kinds of bad things. My king is cute. My king is very safe. Yeah, this doesn't look right at all, though. Because now I just trade and I get a great knight. I get a jumbo horse. I just go here, his pawns are ugly, they're doubled. Very gross. I can even play g4 at some moment, okay. Maybe now I go g4. Let's go g4, force him to take, and he's gonna end up with a legendary triple stack, but it's not really a tower of power here because um, I can just move my king and the pawn holds the square, so his knight is in very poor shape.
I mean, he's got he's got he's got a, he's got a triple stack, but it's it's not a tower of power here. Okay, he's gonna try to create some kind of weird thingy, but I go here, and I think he's just too slow. I just check and take, and now I go here, and my op is so strong on this diagonal. I think it's just GGs pretty much. He can go here, but I mean the the op is too strong. I go here, and the op is just gonna crush him eventually. Just take and go here. Should have done the other order actually. Whatever, it's still winning. Um, hmm. Let's go here. This is not easy to prove actually. The more I look at this, hmm. Why did I do this? Okay, wait a second. Let's let's think for a second. Rook H five, Rook E seven. This should be winning, but this is going to be very tricky. I think this is a, this is a safe primo, so I'll do it and I'll do this. I'm going to go here in this. It's still very tricky. I mean, I think my pawn, my pawn is just too fast here, basically. I'm lucky. I have one pawn that saves a day. Okay, go check. And that's GG's. When I play a good player, these guys are pretty good. They're 2300 plus, but okay. Um, let's go e6 here. Let's play more French. Okay, let's go here. Okay, I think I go 97 and just takes. It plays bishop c4. I can play d6 and run with my king really far into the center, but I think that's asking for trouble. So. I think I'm just going to play very relaxed. I'm just going to play rookie eight. I'm going to move my king out of the center of the board and just, whoa, this guy's on, on a roll. He, he, he has no fear. Um, I think I'll just take. I mean, at some point I'm going to take, but probably not yet. Let's go back. If he, he can't take, I mean, I guess he has to castle, but he doesn't want to because then I just go to like knight c6 or something. So it's a little bit messy, like messier than I would have liked. But take and go d6, I guess. I have to be very careful here. There's also this. I forgot about this angle, but I'm still okay. I think I just take. He does it anyway, so I can take and play queen f6, I think. As long as there's no mate, right? I have this, but I have this also. Let's go here. Again, the structure is very solid because I don't have to do anything. And if I can get my king over one square, I just win the game. Okay, I'm gonna trade the queens, close the diagonal, move the king, and then I'm just gonna win the game. Just very calmly, I slide my king out of the danger zone. And if rookie one, I just take and I also have a check on b6. When he moves the knight, I'm just fine. The only question is, can he play rookie one? But I think I just take and drop back. Okay, he moves the knight. Um, so now I should just be winning. I think queen e3 is logical, but not necessarily a great move. Um, queen f5, hmm. Hmm. It's actually not as easy as I thought it should be. Um, I guess I'll do this in queen of seven, maybe. Still very tricky. Um, I should have checked on e3, actually. I should have traded the queens. I'm still doing well, but I should have traded. Okay, let's just trade the queens. Let's go knight c6. Once I exchange, my king is very safe and we'll reach an end game. So I think that's already winning. So I'll just mark it up as a win. There we go. I can just kick the horse or I can just develop my bishop. If I kick the horse, what's he doing? I don't know, but I, I, I'm just gonna develop. I can just kick the horse. Horse has nothing, I just trade. I'm just gonna take the juicer. 
win another pawn, game over. That would be 178. No, I don't think so, actually. Let me see. Oh, no, you're right. It would be 178. You're right. It would be 178. I didn't mark the last one. You're right. That's 178. Okay, I can just take another juicer if I want, but I don't really need the juicers anymore. I'm up a pawn. I probably just start, let's just start rumbling down the board with these bad boys. Don't really care again. I mean, I think I just go like here, just hold every, hold all the critical squares mainly. And just let's go, let's roll. One, two, three, four, roll, tide, roll. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go here, now I'm, gonna, now I'm gonna battery him on this diagonal. Look at this battery. Okay, let's just keep rolling. Roll, tide, roll. Keep rolling. Let's roll. Go checkmate, let's keep going. Okay, let's play here. Okay, I'm gonna play e3, maybe d4. Maybe just c3, actually d4 is best. So let's play d4. Let's keep building our triangles. Let's go here. Knight e2, knight g3 of course. Okay, I'll go back, I'll play knight d2. Maybe knight e2, okay, takes, I'll take. Probably knight e2, knight g3 at some moment. He's gonna castle obviously, and then I play or wait, does he have this? Hmm, this could be a problem. Um, this could be a big problem, actually. Hmm. Let's think. This could be a really big problem, actually. Um, I'm gonna have to go F4, but this is really ugly. Really, really ugly. I might just be losing here. This might just be losing. Let's go here. He's got what, Bishop G4? I mean, I have to go knight f3 or something. Ugh, this is so gross. I might just be lost this game, actually. Because, yeah, I thought I had knight f3, but I need queen h3, which is a big problem. Let's move the queen here, I guess. Eesh. Queen f2, maybe? If I can survive this attack and get to an end game, I'm fine, but this is really bad. Pre-mark a loss here. I think I'm still in the game. I'm not lost yet. I'm in very bad shape though. But if I can get to an end game, I'll outskill him. Whether I can get to an end game is the question. There's no guarantee that I'll get there. Okay, I mean, like I said, if I can get to an end game, I'll outskill him. But if I can't, then I'm gonna lose. Probably. No guarantee now though, because my knight's coming into the game. What is that? Okay, let's go here. If knight g3, I just take. If I get knight d2, I have two. I have two ops. My ops will unwind, and now I go here, here. I'm gonna win the game. Whatever. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Let's mark it up as a win. Um. Thank you to Zajadet for the Prime, Solidarity Effects for the Tier 1, Barrow with the Prime, Mr. Blusky with the Prime, T-Fox with the Prime, let's go here. Thank you to Vivaka P for the, uh, for the 5 months, let's go here and win the game, GG's. Nice try, come again. Uh, GG's my man, check and time to resign. Alright, next game. Thank you to Woods the Addy for the Tier 1, thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you to Zeke, Zeke, and Zeke Killy Fuego for the 300 bits. Let's keep going. Rematch declined. Okay, declined. Declined. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. <laughs> We're playing Jay Fernandez. This is John Fernandez, by the way, and he doesn't even know it's me. This is someone who uh, I've known for many years. He surely doesn't know this is me, I bet. Uh, let's just go here. There's no way he knows this is me, so it's gonna be a very funny game. Let's go here. This is someone that I know from my my young days in New York, actually. This is, this is a good friend of mine. This will be very funny after this game. I bet he doesn't know who I am. There's no way he knows who I am. Let's play A3 and B4. He's also someone who always used to rant about the Dutch being a great opening, so that's why this is always gonna be really funny. Okay, he does that. I'm just gonna keep attacking. Let's go D5 and C5. I think I'm gonna go knight g3 and hit the pawn. He goes f4, knight e4, I guess. 
Okay, knight h4 is actually a good move. Um, I'm gonna go here, maybe defend laterally. Move the bishop back to b1, target everything here. Okay, a5 is logical, but I think I just... I think I just trade. Can take, obviously, but I mean, it's not so great. I could have gone here too, maybe. Okay, I just take, I just take. Let's bring the knight back. Again, if f4, I go knight e4. Um... I'm just going to develop bishop d2 maybe. Bishop d3 at some moment or bishop b3. I'm not going e4, at least not right now. Because queen g6 logical. Um, I can play bishop a4 to trade. I'm just going to move the bishop back though. Out of the way of the c file and just queen e2 and knight b5 at some moment. Let's go here. Queen f7, logical move. But I think I go queen d3. If f4, I go knight e4. If e4, I just take. I remember this move, Hikaru learned it during his residency in Antwerp. Exactly, of course. Am I pro or intermediate? I'm 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 like challenger level at chess, so I'm I'm decent at it. Um Okay, let's see what's he gonna do. Because Queen E7, I can play knight b5 here, but it's not the move I wanna play. I don't really want to play e4 either, but I feel like there's gotta be some way to take advantage. I'm gonna go here to target this this knight at some point. He goes queen d8. Um, that doesn't really do much. I'm just going to go here and rook c1, maybe, or b5. Actually, knight e2 is an idea at some point also. Let's go here. He's probably going to play queen a5, so I go here. Knight g6, I may be a g4 even. But I think I'm just going to go like rook c1 and solidify my position, basically. He's also way too slow, which is worth noting. Okay, I just do this. I'm gonna gambit a pawn. I don't care because like the position's such that I should be able to flag him. Okay, now I think I'm gonna play e4. I don't really want to, but I think I should play e4 here. If f4 or maybe h3, maybe bishop d3 now. I'm not super worried about g4 because my rook is gonna be attacking his queen here. Goes h5. Okay, I think I can play b6 maybe. Now rook b1, his queen is kind of getting stuck here on d4. Go here. I can also just trade queens. I can also go bishop b1. Um, let's think about this. Ah, let's just let's just trade some queens. I should be better than I'm in an end game. If I'm not, then good for him. I'm gonna go rook a7. Also, let's go here. Just go here. If he takes, I just take. I'm going to go bishop b5 at some point also. Let's just do this. Force a trade of the juicers, and um, this should just be winning. Okay, he does that. Can I be really mean and go bishop c6? I think I can, so I'm going to do it just because I can. Plays h4. That doesn't really worry me. Uh, actually, he's got g3, so it should worry me a little bit. Can I just gambit the house? Or do I not even care? Kind of I should not care, but I, I don't want to win this just purely on a flag. I want to try and win this on the board too. So that's why I'm going to do it this way. Ah, he's got this. I didn't actually see that. That's a good move. That's a very good move. Okay, um, let's go here. He's got no time either. He's trying to come, come up with some weird bishop h4 or something. Well, let's just go here and trade the knights. That doesn't really work. Um, thank you to Shover Lover for the 300 bits. Thank you so much. Okay, this guy plays like a Terrish. Um, the Terrish is very trash, so let's go here in Bishop B6, I guess. I'm trying to be aggressive and force him. He doesn't. He's playing such a slow opening that he's a guy who doesn't want to be like aggressive. So that's why I'm trying to force him into being aggressive here. Let's take and go here. Pressure on the pawn. I mean, excuse me. I'll take a free pawn. I'm 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 not greedy, but when you offer me a free pawn, I'm gladly going to take it. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna win this one too, but I'll mark it. Yeah, let's just mark it. Let's just mark it. I'm gonna win this game. Bishop b5, no pin. Yeah, it's just an empty bishop. There's no square. Ah, I oh, oh, he thought he was, ah, he thought he was pinning the knight. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, he just played it because he thought he was pinning the knight. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I did I, I, I didn't understand it because it made no sense to me why he did that. Okay, now it makes full sense, right? Okay. <laughs> I was just like, why did he do it? Because it didn't make any sense to me. I should have gone F5, by the way, but whatever. It's actually a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit dicey for me. I'm still doing well, but it's not, it's not really happy times. I'm going to play F5, just close the diagonal so I can develop. I'll go G6. If he takes, I just take with the knight. And now he's getting, oh man, he's getting, now his king is on the loose too, but his king is worse than mine. So unfortunately for my friend, he's in a very bad shape here. I should have taken with the G pawn. I don't know why I took with the E pawn. That was stupid. Okay, let's just go here. Let's line him up with the ops. I also have this and this, and it's pretty gross. Uh-oh. Is that checkmate? Not quite. All right. Uh, more wins, 181. All right, I'm gonna take a break and I will be back in a second, you guys.